Meet Vina, the virginal queen of the Thunder Warrior. Yeah! It is up to Corvus and Vina to bring a little civilization back. Hi, this is the Professional Amateur Hour coming to you with another review. This week, we're talking America 3000, which is a 1986 movie and is directed by David Engelbach and stars Chuck Wagner and Laureen Landon. So this movie is about America in the year 3000. In the movie, I think around, you know, 2100 or something, the whole world is nuked back to the Stone Age. And so after 900 years of, you know, Stone Age stuff, they're starting to come out of it. However, there is no more literacy in America and slavery has returned. However, slavery is based on gender this time. So all the men are considered slaves and all the women are, you know, fierce warriors who, uh, you know, like to whip and, and uh, own slaves, I guess. And it's about the main character trying to, you know, help out his fellow man and help the men rise up against their slave masters. What will happen exactly? You'll have to watch the movie and find out. All right, so what works with this movie? Well, I had a lot of fun watching this movie. I thought the story was very interesting. It's divided in between kind of two different storylines, one with all the men and then one with all the women and how they have to, you know, sort out this, this gender war that's going on. And it's quite a bit of fun. All the action scenes are very lively, I'll say that. Lots of explosions going on throughout the whole thing and lots of developments as, as well. Like they free some slaves, so now their army is bigger, but they gotta like train these guys. And then the women, you know, have some invention and then the guys uh, find some relics from the past and, and try to discover what they are. Um, and it's all just really fun, just really enjoyable to, to go along with. There's always something happening, always moving forward and always, you know, trying to reach for a goal, even if it's not a particularly clear goal, especially in the beginning where they're just, you know, trying to, trying to be slave out or be free, I should say, be free out in the wasteland and that type of stuff. So yeah, just generally a fun story and a fun movie in overall. The story gets really fun when this guy in this like gold suit comes out and he is the president because you know it's it's America and he just starts you know kind of taking over everything and that is lots and lots of fun. I liked all the costumes. They were quite fun though. The women really kind of felt like Amazonian women whereas the men kind of felt like they were you know cavemen. They even have this big kind of Sasquatch guy around and he's, he's kind of got like a C plot, but he's also lots of fun, just <laughs> ridiculous all, all throughout the whole thing. And they all have that big 80s hair that's great. I definitely enjoyed that as well. So overall, the costume design and hair design was excellent. With this movie, there is also a lot to discover. It is America 3000, so things aren't the same as they are now. And you're not really told too much about what happens. They do have a narrator to, to you know, help you through it, which does work as, as the narrator does explain a few things, especially when it comes to vocabulary. In America 3000, they have a brand new English language. Um, and so they use words as out of order or they use words that don't match up to the ideas that they're trying to do. Um, for example, they never say the word no. Instead, they use the first two syllables of negative. And so if they don't like something, right, they'll say neggy, like negative. Um, and then they'll be like, no more slavery. The slaves are called machos. So they'll, they'll say neggy macho, right? No more slaves, that type of stuff. Uh, there's some, a few words that were kind of more ambiguous, like the word scan. It kind of seemed like understand as well as um, interpret as well. So it's, it's a little bit strange that way. They have a narrator again to, to try to help you out. He comes in sporadically, but there is quite a bit of discovery. So if you are into kind of using your brain in one of these movies and to really fully understand what they're saying, it's definitely a real treat. All right, so what doesn't work with this film? This is a canon film, and so it has that 80s cheese. It's dripping with 80s cheese. It's got, you know, Gorgonzola, 
uh, mozzarella, cheddar, maybe some American cheese up there too. It's so cheesy uh, with all like it's kind of American idioms. Like everything is uh, the Americans versus the commies. That's what the commies did it. That type of stuff. It's dripping with cheese, uh, which I love actually. I really did enjoy that. As for, I don't know, is that a negative? Whatever. Anyways, for other negatives, I would say for a movie called America 3000, not a single bullet is fired. Can you believe that? An America with no bullets. They have explosions with grenades and stuff like that, and even a laser gun, but no actual bullets. So I don't know what they were thinking with that one. So who is this movie for? Well, with today's audiences, I would say any lovers of B-movies should try to check this one out. It's, again, 80s cheese galore. If you're into sci-fi, action, or adventure, or uh, post-apocalyptic stuff, I think anyone could really enjoy this one. As for a rating, I'm going to give it a 6.7. I think it's one of these 80s movies that doesn't get enough attention, so I thought I would make you all aware of it. But what do you think? Are you going to see it? Have you seen it? Leave us a comment down below. As always, like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.